One of South Trinidad's most sacred sites is under threat. But this is a, one of the most important areas in our Dharma, as you, you may see, say. Religious leaders say it's the only place for outdoor funerals in South, with as many as six funerals taking place daily. People come from all to the eastern counties, like as far as my road, they come to do cremation here, all over the deep south. Cremations are done here. And uh, I'm very much concerned, I haven't seen this, and by, by the time the, the rain sets in, this could be, a, a, you know, it could be a disaster because right now it is very, very hazardous. This structure is on the verge of collapse. Pandit Krish Sukbir says they've now been forced to find another place for rituals. And as we perform prayers here, um, it, has become, it has become so dangerous for us to do any rituals in this pro property again. Caretaker Narayan Ramdeen, who has been here for 40 years, say 30 feet of land eroded over the past few months. We have hundreds of people here every day. I mean, I walk in here, I could tell you. People attend cremation, and we don't want to see nobody come in cremation for them to be cremated. Day. And Saparia Mayor Dudnath Meru warns if this erosion is not addressed soon, this place of remembrance will soon be lost. We'll, we will have to look at the security and safety of the persons who use this facility, and we will, will, will not be able to use it. Then it will be left up to the minister and the government to find an alternative venue but this is a beautiful site this, look 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 at the landscape here we cannot afford to lose this pundit surendra nath and danny ram says many people are not aware of the danger not many people will be cognizant of what is happening just behind me here and it could result in some fatality right here so that is a major concern the condition in fact when i started coming here this fence maybe 20, 30 feet back. Ministry of Rural Development and Local Government Faris Al Rawi says the ministry's engineers are already assessing the situation. Once their report is ready, Al Rawi says the ministry will collaborate with the Commissioner of State Lands, the Ministry of Works, and the cooperation to address this matter. Radikadi Silva, CNC3 News.